obviously, you know, after the series of events and certainly his, his death, um, you end up reflecting back on, on the individual that, in my case, I coached and was, was part of a team. Um, and you, you remember certainly the, the positives. Uh, Chris always had a lot of energy. Uh, Chris always wanted to do his best. Uh, Chris always wanted to please. Uh, in fact, I look back in some ways almost to a fault. Uh, even during practice, if he made a tackle during practice, he almost instantly would turn to me or to one of the other coaches and, did you see that? Did, did I do it right? Did I? He wanted that affirmation, that acclamation. That... So, you know, when I think of Chris as, as a member of the Edgewood football team, I just, I think, I think we all agree on this. I think of him as a, just the consummate teammate. I don't think I could ask for a better teammate. All antics aside, and, right, right. you know, all the other stuff that we all laughed at and, and loved about him. But he loved the game. Right. He was very competitive. He had everybody's back, right? Yeah. yeah. And 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 he made things really, really fun. And he, like, he was he was like all really in. Fun. He, he was, was really it. serious about it. Great way to put it. Really he loved pageantry too. He liked yep. dressing up. Yep. Yep. Put on yeah. the jersey. Yeah. I mean, I think it's also important to remember that it that it was just sad the way he died, and that um, so much more to give. Yeah, he had so much more to give. But for us, it was it was our youth as well that we saw end when he died. In a way, you know, there's part of it that that we uh, we all saw. End a little bit when he died. Um, Good point. But, you know, yeah. totally, totally on that same subject matter is like, you know, I would read where some people thought this was, you know, something that was coming just because of the way that he was maybe living at certain times. But I, I, it was a complete shock to me. He was always somebody that, sure, he partied this and that, but he was always just going to be back. You know, I just, I guess I wasn't ready for that. It just, just hit me so much about, you know, life. Um, it's, it is going to be over at one point, but I was not ready for that, that ending. Yeah, I mean, if you go back to high school, we were just high school kids hanging around. We right. loved each other. Right, right. The four of us, and Todd Green, and Robert Berry, and, yeah. you know, Pat Corcoran, who just yeah. left, and we were, we were never apart. Yeah, right. We were always right. together, and we didn't know, you right. know that he was right. going to be larger than life times 100. That's right. He that's was just someone we loved, and, exactly and right. he was our friend. And, and, but but you always had that. He was he was many times the focal point, but not yeah. always. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times you were, a lot of times you were, a lot of times Robert was, and and, and so yeah. He, I mean, for us, he was just one of us, and, and uh, that's right. At that uh, time, he was. Yeah, he was one of us. Still missed. Yeah.